Welcome to another learning Tai Chi at home class. Today we're going to do, we're going to finish the form with the last three steps. Steps number 22, 23, and 24. Uh, yesterday we finished number 21, deflect, uh, turn the body, deflect, carry, and punch. We finished over there. If I do it from the side, we finished over there. Today we do number 20. Now we're going to do number 22. It's called a parent close. It looks like this. So it's quite an easy move. It's called a parent close because it's similar to the close, but it's not. So it's only a parent. We free ourselves from this wrist lock. We open both hands to shoulder, shoulder width. We rotate our hands as we get back, and then we press them upwards. I do it from this side. We go over there. I put my hand underneath. I open them up. Both are now open, arms facing up, shoulder width. I roll back. I turn my hands. So when I've got down here ready to push, my arms are facing the floor. And I press up. Again, I don't teach. I don't teach that we lift our foot, but most schools do. I teach from a martial arts perspective, and we just don't do that in martial arts. But it's okay to do it. Most schools teach that. So we go there, we open up, shoulder width, turn our hands, get ready for this press, and press up. When we finish, our back is straight. We haven't done this. Be careful of that. I'll do it again. My back is straight now. I roll back. My back is still straight. I go forward and my back is still straight. So don't lean forward. It's not really necessary to follow me from the back on this one. You won't see anything. If we do number 23, 23, we finished a parent close, number 22. Number 23, my palms stay facing the front, my middle turns around. So I have to lift my foot, so I roll back, lift my foot. Now I can turn with my foot. My foot is now facing the front. I start to open both hands and I open that foot. There, I open that foot with both hands. I scoop down with this hand. This hand doesn't go as low. Here, I scoop down. I still maintain my upright posture. I scoop down. This hand meets me in the middle here. This one scoops down and they meet in the middle. That's the move finished. It's called cross hands. Both my feet are parallel. My hands are crossed. My, thing, my hands at shoulder height. If you look from the side, I don't have this cross next to me. I have it there. It's a nice open space. I'll do it from the side. I'll come back. I'll do it from the side. This one goes down. My hands cross there. So don't bring it too close. Don't compromise your posture. 
What else about this move? I'm now going to breathe in. I breathe in. So you see what happens with my weight transfer. I roll back, turn this foot. I move over to turn this foot. I put 80% of my weight there. I then, with my arms coming to form a cross, I put 100% back in this leg. 100, which allows me to put this foot down parallel. And there, I put a hundred in there by turning this cross. I get to a hundred. I'm able to pick this foot up, put it down parallel. And I breathe out there. So let's do 22 and 23 together. We have it there. Arms facing up. Press forward as you transfer your foot down. Turn, both hands are the same. Open your hands as you turn your foot. Go down to 80%. This hand crosses there, gets ready. They meet in the middle. And they come up to there. Now I'm settled, ready for the last move. So the moves are very short, but it's important, like I've always said, it's important that we enjoy every move, give every move the credit that it deserves. Don't rush any of these moves, it doesn't bring any value to you. Let me try that from the back. You may be able to pick up on something there. I'm finished, number 21. I'm now going to arms facing up. I roll back, press forward. Arms at the same height, turn my foot, open my palms, turn this foot, go down. This hand comes a little bit lower. I get to 100, I stand up with my feet parallel, and then I'm finished. Throughout these videos, I have to, <laughs> I have to be mindful that this is the angle of the video. So sometimes I'm not moving on this angle and you don't see me step over the water. I look a bit skew or shred. It's the small video angle I'm looking for. So we finish off, our feet are parallel. Right in the front and parallel. Number 24. It's really easy because we finish 23. And we open our hands, dip our elbows, take the elbows off, and press down. To finish. I'm almost finished. The queens, my hands are parallel, facing the front. Like this, I open them up, dip my elbows. Press my hands down. Now I'm finished. But I haven't finished the form yet. Here, I put my feet together and my palms on my thighs. Then I'm finished. Let's do all three of those moves together. We can start at number 21. Arms up, shoulder width apart. Roll back, press forward, 
Turn from your center, turn your foot to go with. Open your hands as you turn that foot. Scoop this up. Cross your hands, your feet are now parallel. Open your palms, palms facing down. Dip your elbows, press down. Close the fall. So I speak a lot about chocolate moments and photo moments and how important it is that we enjoy every single moment. I've seen many students, many instructors, they get to the finish, they get there, they kind of finish the form. It's sad. Enjoy every move. This number 24 is a is as, as important as number 16 or 22 or whatever. The breathing on the last one, when we start the form, it's really a reverse of that watch. I actually breathe in to stand on one leg now. I breathe in, I straighten my feet and I breathe out. I raise my palms, I breathe in, I hold it. And I breathe out. Now it's the same with this one. We are here. Three. I open my hands. I'm still holding my breath. And I breathe out. I breathe out. I'm finished the form. So when we finish number 22, I breathe in to help me to come up. And I breathe out. Let's do the whole form from the beginning. Okay, let's go.
Thank you very much.